the Burner Man back with Burner Talks. And it seems like DeMar DeRozan is out of Chicago. Uh, before we get started, we really appreciate it if you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. But this is pretty much what I mean. DeMar DeRozan has been sent to Sacramento in a sign and trade situation. So pretty much the Kings are going to receive DeMar DeRozan. The Spurs are going to receive Harrison Barnes. And the Bulls are going to receive two second round picks, some cash, and Chris Darte. So in the comment section, you guys let me know who won that trade. Um, when it comes to the Sacramento Kings, they had to get something done. Uh, they tried to run it back after the 2022-23 season, losing in one game to the Golden State Warriors. They felt, eh, you know what I'm saying, we lost one game to Golden State. I think we're good. So we're going to try to run it back with the same team, not knowing that that year Golden State wasn't really that good, if you want to be honest. Um, So they tried to run it back last year, 23-24 season, and they couldn't even make it to the playoffs. Um, So they had to get something done this year. Um. With this, they only really gave up um who they give up. They really only gave up Harrison Barnes, who I've never liked. I've never liked Harrison Barnes, man, as a player. No disrespect. I'm a North Carolina guy, but he just can't come in clutch a lot of the times, bro. So them having to give him up is small. You know, so I feel like they shouldn't even have re-signed him to be honest to that money. But them giving him up for DeMar DeRosa is small. Uh the only thing is with this team is you know, the bench is kind of be kind of in, kind of be kind of iffy. You know, you still got that firecracker and Malik Monk. Um, you're going to have Jalen McDaniels, uh, Keon Ellis, Alex Lee, and Trey, you know what I'm saying, Trey Lyles. You don't really have too, too much of a bench. But they might be running it like the like the Nuggets, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the playoffs, we're going to play everybody 35-plus minutes, and we're just going to do it like that. But with this team, I feel like they did get a little bit better. They don't really have any defense though i'm not gonna lie you running fox at the one you have her at the two you're gonna have the rose at the three you're gonna have keegan murray at the four then you're gonna have sabonis at the five you don't really have much defense um in my opinion but you know they're gonna be fun to watch uh should they make the playoffs i think they should i think with this squad right here they will be able to make the playoffs uh, if they mesh good i don't know how the whole sabonis and the demar DeRozan thing is gonna be is gonna mesh you know what i'm saying neither one of them guys really stepping out and shooting a ton of threes uh and darian fox even though he can shoot threes it's not really his game either he's more get to the rim or his midi pull-up game which is butter so you got two game two guys with midi pull-up games so you go i don't know how they're gonna mesh it um, uh, hopefully Brown can put them, go, them guys in the right places to, for them to succeed. Um, but I still feel like they had to get something done and I'm not mad at this if I'm them, you know what I'm saying? So, because even though I do like this, I don't feel like this is enough for this to be a championship team. Do I think this is the best team in California? Uh, probably, you know, um, the Lakers were already having a hard time beating Sacramento without DeRozan. So you add him to that mix. Yeah. Golden State, I don't think Golden State's still going to be good this year. Um, Clippers, maybe if they can stay healthy. So, best in the West, no. Best in California, yeah. Because in my opinion, to have a championship team, you got to have you gotta have everything. You got to have your role players. You got to have your defense. You got to have your offense. You got to have some dogs. And I don't think this team has all of that. Like I said earlier, Defense is gonna be iffy on this team. If you're not, if you're not playing good defense, bro, you're not gonna get far. You're not gonna get far, bro, when you're playing a team best out of seven. They know what you're doing. You know what they're doing, and you gotta really clamp down and get those money stops at the end of games because games are gonna be so close. And you just don't. I just don't see it when I look at this roster. So we're just gonna have to see how they mesh it this coming up season. In the comment section, I want you guys to let me know. Do you think this team is going to? Mesh together, how far do you think you have them going? Do you think they're going to make the playoffs? Or, or do you think they're going to be another play-in type of team? Let me know all this in the comment section. Because me, I love the move. Uh, but I feel like they got to deal a couple more moves, in my opinion. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you could, hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And y'all already know who it is.